YouTube, Mariel here. Today is Saturday 25th of March 2017. Today the video that I'm making is actually a video response to uh, Kim Wilson TV. Uh, a viewer, a viewer on, on this channel actually uh, recommended me to, to watch her. I've been following her since and she's definitely interesting and her point of view and her experience as well are, 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 um, are very enlightening and um, and she posted a video uh, I think it was last week about whether our narcissistic partners derail us from our higher purpose and I did not have to think long about that at all uh, for my mind to scream very loudly, yes, yes, totally, completely, of course they do, of course they do. Everyone who has come into contact with those very strange human beings have had the experience of watching their lives go in a very unexpected and very unpleasant direction. Even those who have had limited contact with them don't escape, with, don't escape without feeling overwhelmingly like their lives went completely off track. Most victims' lives are impacted financially, emotionally, psychologically and physically in a very, very negative manner. And here are my, and here are my, my thoughts. We all know that most of those Machiavellian, Machiavellian beings target empaths. Now, if we take the time to understand the qualities of, of empathic beings, it's not hard to understand how useful empathic traits are. It's not hard to perceive just how empathic people can be useful to humanity as a whole. Empathic people are naturally born nurturers, healers, peacemakers, solution bringers, hope bringers, anchor, and they are anchoragers. They don't destroy, they build bridges. Those are gifts they have within them that are meant to help bring people together. And once we understand this and we're able to make this connection in our minds and in our hearts about this, about this truth really, it becomes overwhelmingly clear that when those pathological beings enter empaths' lives with their ability to maintain constant mental confusion and ability to manufacture chaos, of course they derail anyone from their higher purpose by getting under their skin, polluting their hearts and consuming their minds. The after effect of dealing with those pathological beings more often than not leave the majority of victims with very little time here on earth to heal and retrain in a way that would, that would allow them to use their God-given gifts. And this is why I feel such a tremendous, such an enormous sense of tra tragedy and loss for humanity as a whole when I think most empaths are trapped in families and environments where they end up being nothing more than energetic, emotional foods and punching bags. Leaving those empaths so bruised up, so scared and so apprehensive that they can no longer help those who truly deserve and desperately need those abilities from them. They just can't share them. An awful lot of them have to learn to dim their light, if you want. They have to dim their characteristic traits in order to preserve themselves and not attract again those, those, those pathological beings. And it's a huge, huge loss to anyone who desperately need such people to come into their lives to help them, to nurture them, to encourage them, to help them see the good within them and bring them hope sometimes and help them see things in very different ways. It's a huge, huge, huge loss. 
So yes, of course, there are some that are able to survive and transform, but many others just run out of time here on earth because the healing process takes too many years. But here is what my comment was on Kim TV's video. And I would like to share it with you. Well, this is what I said. Great video, Kim. And from my own experience, here is my contribution slash answer to this very interesting question you asked. Whether or not our narcissistic partners derail us from our from our from our um, higher purpose. Personally, I never thought of myself as having a higher purpose in life other than having a family of my own and owning a business one day. Then I met my wolf. And somehow I knew deep within my soul that he will be the one to upgrade and elevate me. I even had the audacity to tell him that, which is an odd thing for me to do. I never even totally understood why I felt this way or how I could even think like that because God knows I was never the gold digging type. Not that he had much, you know, at the time when, when I met him because he was still young himself and, you know, kind of starting out. But all I knew is that I just felt this way and it was a very, very strong feeling that I had. Now, fast forward 25 years later, because of him, I have now developed an acute sense of who I truly am. Because of my wolf, I now know what my life purpose is. Because of my wolf, I also know what my God-given gifts are are, which, which are very different from what my heart's desires are and what my aspirations are. Because of my wolf, I have found my tribe. I may have lost a family, but I have found my brethren. I may have lost several battles, but I now know for sure I will win this war. Because of my wolf, I have discovered my heart, my heart of hearts, and I know I am about to become a whole new powerful kind of individual. So I guess in some twisted type of way, my instinct was spot on. Yes, my wolf human agenda is clearly aimed towards destroying me, but the side effect my wolf could never have anticipated on was that instead of destroying me, all he did was polish me into a refined piece of human being. Having to learn about this pathology, having to learn about his pathology, only highlighted what I always took for granted about myself or never even acknowledged because I was just so unaware of who I was as a person. And that alone is extremely powerful to me. Then by forcing me, by him forcing me to find this community, I have found incredible wisdom and unbelievable advice that not only saved me, but recharged me and strengthened me like you and so many others here on your channel and in other channels, empaths are now slowly, it is obvious that now, it is obvious that empaths are now slowly waking up. Those narcs better watch out because their days in the shadows are now numbered. They have awakened several sleeping giants all over the world. And this, I believe, 